Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. John and Ellie of Georgia Beer Reviews back at you today with another beer review. And what I'm looking at is Cass Fresh, <clears throat> Korea's number one beer. This beer is 4.5% alcohol by volume. It is a product of Korea, brewed and bottled by Oriental Brewery, Brewery Company Limited, Seoul, Korea. Imported by BWS Group Company, Santa Fe Springs, California. Well, I looked them up, and it's actually Anheuser-Busch, InBev Anheuser-Busch. So this is an AB InBev product here in the United States. So, Korea's number one beer, huh? Let's see how it is. I've never had it before, um, so I'm pretty excited to try it. I don't know if I've ever even had a Korean beer before. Anyway, well, yeah, I just did the Caffrey um, not too long ago on my channel, and that one is also Oriental Brewery Company, and imported by um, the same company here in the U.S., which is an AB InBev company, yeah, BWS Group Company. All right. Gave it a poor, nice, one-finger, creamy, white head, golden appearance. Looks like a good uh, lager beer. Some nice streaming bubbles going up the glass there, but not too many. Smells pretty good. Smells like a good lager beer. Getting some barley malt. Maybe a little hop presence as well, but mostly... The barley malt is what you're picking up on. Smells pretty good. I mean, very clean smelling. Not too much there, but what is there is very pleasant. So let's go ahead and get into it. Cheers, guys. Nice and... Uh, ready it's a sweetness to this one like um, hmm it's hard to describe um, there's a sharpness to this one um, and a sweetness that I guess it could be coming from the barley malt but it's a little bit more than what you get with your traditional like AAL style beer it's not like malt liquor sweet but there's a different there's a sharpness to it that's really the only way I can describe it my words are failing me right now it is unique I'll say that Maybe a slight fruit note, a fruity note or something. It's very good, I can tell you that. It's got a lot of nice bready qualities. You're getting that white bread crust in the middle of the sip. There is a little bit of a hot bite on the back end to kind of balance out uh, the beer because it is malt forward. Like I said, there is a lot of malt complexity with this one, which I'm having a hard time putting into words. Um, but in no way is it off. It's very, very enjoyable. The body is super light, 4.5% alcohol by volume. You could drink these bad boys all day. Uh, this is a big 640 mil bottle. Um, I think it was available in six pack and 12 pack configurations. Although I've never seen this beer before, I did get it at the Super H Mart, which is an Asian um, grocery store that's very popular in the Atlanta area. So I went there and got it. I think you could probably get it at any of those stores um, or any of your specialty stores that carry a lot of imported beer. But it is owned by AB InBev here in the U.S., so the distribution might be a little bit better than I think it is, but I've never seen it, and I do live, like, right next to Atlanta, so um, it might be pretty tough to find if you live in a smaller area. Uh, but it is very enjoyable, very crisp, clean, refreshing. Like I said, it is light-bodied. The carbonation is medium. Um, the finish is its very refreshing and very dry, just like you would expect with a good 
lager beer. Um, we could definitely see why this is South Korea's number one beer. Yeah, there's a definite unique quality to this one that I'm having a hard time describing, but it's somewhere, it's a sharp, fruity note. But, of course, it is bready primarily, and you are getting the hot bite on the back end. In no way is this quality that I'm trying to describe, which words are failing me, uh, in no way is it a bad quality. It's very, very enjoyable. It is super fresh, and um, the date on here, uh, I didn't see one. But it tastes really fresh. I'm sure it is. Uh, I saw people buying this stuff off the shelf like crazy. So, very popular Asian beer. Obviously, number one beer in Korea. So, they're doing something right with this one. Um, let me know if you guys have ever had this and what you think. I'd uh, be interested to know because there's really not too many reviews out there um, makes me wonder how popular or how widespread this beer really is in the United States um, so anyway that'll well huh it won't do it let me give it a rating I'm gonna go 96 out of a hundred uh, because it's getting up there this one has a lot of nice malt complexity it has that unique um, sharp fruity note to it that is um, it's very unique and enjoyable, but of course the nice bready malt complexity is the first thing you get, and it does have that nice hot bite on the back end to balance it out. To balance it out, just like you would expect any really good lager uh, to do, so it meets all the criteria to be an excellent lager, and then some because it has that little bit of extra something special. I think so. 96 out of 100 for the Cass Fresh. Go out, buy it, try it. Let me know what you guys think. I highly recommend it. I think it is an excellent, excellent beer. Uh, I wish it was everywhere because I would buy it a lot more. Um, I think it's excellent. So that'll do it for this beer review, guys. Hope you're having a great day. And until next time, everybody, cheers.